Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. So in this video, uh, we are going to review another custom ROM for Redmi Note 8 and this time we have Evolution X and this ROM is based on Android 14. So Android 14 ROMs arrived for Redmi Note 8 and there are few of them actually. So I have been trying Android 14 based ROM for my Redmi Note 8 for last two weeks, but recently it got an update like yesterday and I have updated to the latest version of Evolution X ROM and there are few changes happen after installing the update so let's go and check out the rom so first of all in android 14 based rom there are few tweaks came with it like you can change the clock and other things here and also you can customize the button on the lock screen which was not available on android 13 based rom in stock rom but in custom rom you could do that so it's kind of same so so i have installed the rom and as you can see the rom is running perfectly fine as Android 13 based ROM and I haven't found major changes in Android 14 based ROM but Android 14 based ROM actually uh, get in bulkier so it is around 2 GB of the file size and I will put the link in the description below so if you want to flash this ROM you will get the file link in the description and you can download it from there and flash it so the flashing process is same as Android 13 based ROM you no need to install any kind of uh, other recovery or anything like that just you can install from directly from TWRP or you can do um, ADB side load method which I usually do so going with the setting first of all so let's go and check so about so as you can see readme node 8 and if you go so it is running on android 14 and android 14 and as you can see here the security patch level is number one because I have uh, in recently installed like yesterday I have installed the latest version of evolution x and now it is updated to 8.0.3 and previously I was using 8.0.2 for last two weeks. So in, in the initial build of Android 14 based ROM for Redmi Note 8, Evolution X specifically, it has a lot of issues like freezing, uh, random reboots, the camera UI is lagging and all sorts of things. And I was, because I was on a trip, so I could not able to make a video to change the ROM because I just arrived from my trip. So then I just installed this ROM. and this after flashing the update actually it improved a lot and it is quite usable now first of all uh, what we used to get with android 13 based rom all the things are goodies are here so you can tweak you can change and also miui camera is also included so the, as i said the camera issue has been gone like freezing and other things now after update the camera is working perfectly fine i haven't faced any issue then secondary is that like gcam and other cameras are working perfectly fine you will not have any issue using them so as you can see here gcam is working cts profile it depends on if you don't have magic skin installed cts profile will be passed so you can use bank apps but in my case as i always restore the application from my previous rom so i need to root the device and restore them so easily i can't show you that too and other things about Android 14 based ROM is that you are uh, like you are having few things in the setting but not really much but one irritating part of Android 14 based ROM for Redmi Note is that the skin retention is back if you don't use it's like night mode you will see skin retention even after like changing the setting from display calibration setting so still the skin retention problem is there for I don't know why is that there but it is the issue of android 14 based rom and rather than that the battery issue so i had some battery issue with this particular rom in android 14 based initial build but now seems to be fine after update so after update it has uh, changed a lot actually like everything is working pretty much smoothly but but one thing is that i don't really recommend android 14 based rom for any devices which are not with flagship processors so this device released in 2018 so snapdragon 665 is a quite powerful processor but it is not really good for android 14 based rom as i said for redmi note 6 pro so it's pretty uh similar for all the rom so let me show you a screenshot which i have taken and for updating the while updating the rom so as you can see here in the update rom changes so you can they have changes a lot of thing and they have made improvement everywhere actually so it, it was having a lot of issues which has been fixed now and the rom is working just fine perfectly fine i haven't faced any issue 
after the update so i'll put the link of the updated version of the rom and as i said the experience is quite okay in a 14 based rom but it's still i say hold on for few builds then maybe it will be better to update the rom to 14 based rom now you can stick with 13 based rom and i, I will also going i will try few other 14 based rom for minute then if those are not good then I will go back to the 13 based ROM because I have been using this device and basically this is my main device still so I am using that so everything is working just fine and that's all about Evolution X because I have already talked about the features and other things so I am not going with those things those things are available and everything is here as you can see the the customization are still available as like 13 based ROM so there is nothing to say about this ROM much so thank you very much for watching the video, I will see you next time.